A married woman got abducted at Padavu gate near Kumbra by three people, those who neared her, in a Scorpio car who deserted her in Puttur later and fled the scene. The woman reached Puttur with the help of a relative and there was commotion for some time in Sampia police station in Puttur. The woman resident of Kornatki was returning home, finishing some work outside. She was abducted by the Chayo who arrived behind her in a Scorpio car. The abductors reaching Sulia deserted the woman at an isolated place. The abductor stated to have been scared by the car that confronted them and during this time the woman had allegedly found safe escape from the abductors then. She later taking help from her relatives registered case in Sampia police station. Speed agi bandro, nan side tiri gino di daga, el do car ino lagi agi. Nan tera seat ina gala gade, iya lagi seat tu. Inta mak, in in di ninda. मते इन केयर लगाशे ली इन तमात अड़ बरों थे ली ब्रो अच्छे बेर इन तमात अड़ ले लो रो ब्लैक टिंट a group of youths getting assembled before the police station was found tense and the situation remained grim quite for some time Enough the tidbits. Pakistan's Balochistan province earthquake death toll rose to nearly 350. Official sources in Quetta, the capital of Balochistan, told that about 350 people were killed by the 7.7 .7 magnitude quake, with the majority of deaths reported from the worst hit Avaran district. National Disaster Management Authority told of 271 deaths and 246 injured. Other officials said 327 bodies were found in Avaran and Ketch areas. According to official estimates, over 3 lakh people in six districts were affected by the quick that hit yesterday afternoon. Many do not have access to food, drinking water or shelter and the situation was exacerbated by the hot weather. Balochistan Chief Minister Abdul Malik Baloch has declared an emergency in Avaran and five other districts located near the epicenter. Government has dispatched 1,000 tens, 500 foot bags, medicines and 15 ambulances. Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde on Thursday said information is being collected on the terror attack in Jammu. There has been an attack on the police station and an army camp. We are collecting information, the Home Minister told. Separatist guerrillas attacked a police station in Jammu region on Thursday morning, killing six people including four policemen. They then attacked an army camp. The Administrative Council of the Brahmavar Sugar Factory has applied for 12 crore loan from the government. The area spending would be paid by the end of December 2013, said Jayashila Shetty, president of the sugar factory. To a question asked by the members as to whether the Administrative Council should prolong, the government has not liquidated the factory since the Administrative Council is existing and 110 acres of land of the sugar factory has not been sold out. He said that the factory belonging to the farmers, it would be reinstated, availing help from the government. Boja Hegde, Somshekar Shetty Kentanur, Prakash Chandra Shetty, Mega Ratna Shetty, Astika Shastri, RJ Kantaraju were present on the occasion. The worker dies falling from a great height and gets killed. Since the cause of the death of the coolie worker has been vague, Human Rights Commission has directed Police Commissioner for the conclusive report in the matter. The diseased worker has been learned to be 32 years Vijay, son of Kadya, resident of Kairangala in Polali, who lived in the house of his sister in Gudde Angadi in Puttige Gram Panchayat. The cause of the death of the worker being not so clear, a version states that the worker had slipped off his balance from a great height of 50 feet to the ground when he tried to grip a tree aligned to the building in his attempt for hanging there. Dalit associations in defense of the deceased on the contrary have registered a case of suspected killing in Mudubidri police station. In law of Vijay, the deceased has mentioned in the complaint lodged with the police that it was a planned murder and it needed impartial inquiry. Dalit associations have submitted complaint to police as well as the Human Rights Commission, over which the police commissioner has been directed by the Human Rights Commission for giving a conclusive report over their findings in the matter. Once again, the main headlines. Bike and car head-on collision, rider seriously injured at Salapadi. 
Advocate opens fire in Mudrividre, fights with a student on the road. Someone's closed door gaining Goldman, useless Nalkemar housing board quarters. Woman abducted from Kumbra, safe escaped, case filed at Sambia. Pakistan earthquake toll rose to 353 lakh people affected in Avaran. Gorilla separatist attack on police station, Home Minister collecting Jambu incident. Pending areas of Brahmava Sugar Factory will be paid before December factory president. Workers' death in Modibidri unclear, Human Rights Commission directs Police Commissioner. With this, we come to the end of this edition. For more news and updates, keep watching V4 News 24-7 or you may also log on to v4news.com.